There are many ways to describe the pirate archetype. The pirates that used the flags in GMA's Captain's Draft were the most accomplished and infamous of all pirates, men that inspired everything that it means to be a pirate in fiction today. These captains were ruthless and never accepted defeat. Our captains are cut from the same cloth. You've heard of all sorts of horrible things that inhabit the universe. Creatures of darkness. Those who won't hesitate to cut you down where you stand. You can run from them. You can hide from them. But the one thing you have to understand is that they will never stop coming for you. They will pull you from your holes, drag you out into the light. These captains are aggressive, cold, cold, suffering, suffering, suffering. Suffering, calamity, disaster, baseness, depravity, wickedness, destructive, pernicious, nefarious, vile, base, corrupt, vicious, depraved, sadistic, inquisitous, sinful. These captains are cut from the same cloth. Welcome to the 2021 GMA Captain's Draft. Oh man, is this oh. Oh, first blood does sneak over to team two. Um, they might pick up the... Doesn't look like it. Face with us. Uh, potentially, as, uh, as it looks like Slowski Gale tried to face check yeah, into this kill. push, but Goomstop is going to go down. Brandon sort of picks up the kill. Two. Okay, we're going to try again. Box side or top side stack them here. And this crack shape while the enemy team goes for the dragon. But as I'm saying that they do go in for yet another team, but this is the guy picked off early. Swoker's top watch has been clocked. It's going to be an early set versus Volley Bear. And it will look like he got the shield off. Unfortunately, it will be a kill from the volley as he's gonna be. Hello, everybody! It is I, your digital lord and savior, Sigtar Lord. I am here tonight with the incredibly talented, incredibly smooth sounding Tuxedo Mask. Tux, how you doing tonight? Well, hello there, everybody. I hope some everybody out there in the chat is excited for today's Captain Draft. We have a lot of contended picks coming in, I can already tell you. Tommy's like, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. I'm so excited for a... Uh, uh, a fun draft. I feel like our players are, are more than ready to find out what teams they're on. Uh, I did start off uh, with the photo in alphabetical order chat. I see you. Uh, we have that one at the top. Uh, I'm, I am so ready to finally hear after the uh, hours of evaluating we've done, after the amount of production we've put in, after the amount of games that have been played, the backroom conversations, the mock draft discussions, to see how this all plays out and what teams we'll be playing in our tournament on December 5th. Tux, what do you think is going to be the guiding principle that these captains go with on how they pick their teams? Well, it's definitely going to have to be a strong, very strong early game here. If we're playing on the new patches, then objective bounties are going to be what we're looking out for the most. I would not be surprised if on the uh, captains or the player block that the captains have to choose from, that they start to really get most of the high priority junglers, supports, and mid laners out the way as their first hot commodity picks. I think that could be a huge priority as well. There were jungle changes, and I think that just from my experience playing, you've hit the nail on the head exactly. People are going to be playing with those bounties in mind. But we are not going to dally any longer. We want to hop straight in to the draft. The first captain that will be available to draft tonight is Ravain. We're going to go ahead and bring Ravain into the live broadcast right now. Ravain, welcome. Hello. Um, 
What uh, is your first pick? My first pick for the bot lane will be the Pistol Crab. Oh, convenient. Ooh, Already had the picture up. Very strong. Well, let's take a look at him. Uh, thank you so much, Ravane. We'll talk to you yep. here shortly. Alright. Let's pull up his page so we can take a little bit closer look at the pistol crab himself. Right now, Crab is setting at 68 points. The guy's incredibly high ranked. Uh, as you can see, he uh, reviewed well. He's got high in-game metrics. Average vision scores a little low, but hey, when you're carrying, you can't afford that in the budget. Uh, congratulations, Crab, on being the first overall pick in the draft. Any thoughts on this pick, Tux? Definitely, as you said, already strong pick. As far as his champion pool... I am curious to see how he decides to flex his uh, vein, Samira, as well as the Senna picks for his bot lane duo. But I have heard that Zyra might be ridiculously strong in the patches to come. So the fact that he already seems to be familiar with uh, the Zaya pick, definitely a good pickup for sure. Well, I think that will be one heck of a uh, one heck of a call there. Just one moment, folks. Some backroom dealings going on. Oh, for sure. The other captains were definitely most likely looking into getting the pistol crap for themselves, so they might be in a little bit of a scramble to choose who their next pick will be. All right, I believe I believe that we are taken care of and we are going to bring in the next captain, Captain Huge. Huge will be joining us in the live broadcast. Captain Huge, who is your first round draft pick? Huge, are you with us? Uh, uh, yeah, so my first round draft pick for mid is Gankbot Police. Gankbot Police! Uh, Gankbot has been a highly discussed uh, player, and uh, uh, congratulations on being second overall in the draft. Thank you, Captain Huge. Yeah. Well, Tux, let's take a look at this guy. Uh, if you look at the uh, score for Gankbot Police, let me pull him up. Gankbot Police, probably our highest rate ranked player, 79.5 points, 10 in the past three seasons. Low vision score, actually equal to uh, Crab there. No picture to show, folks, but uh, I can tell you right now, he's probably sitting with a smile. Congratulations on your uh, positioning in the draft. Uh my my question to you, Tux, is what are the impl what what do you think is going to be the expectations that are setting on uh, Gankbot Police's shoulders, GBP? Oh, for sure. Since Huge is the one that picked him as a jungler, it's very common in the uh, synergies of a five v five for League of Legends that the jungler mid lane um, synergy is key to really carry out most of the mid game and early game combinations, considering the fact that. The uh, river crabs are so uh, necessary uh, for the power spike of the jungler to get the gold, to get the boots, to get the roaming going. And with uh, Gangba Police's sh presence as far as his assists as well as kills, he will definitely might just add the secondary jungler for the top lane, if not the bot lane, depending on where you decides to go for their ganks. It's a very good pick. I agree. Uh, I think it's it's going to be fun to watch him play. Watching him in the uh, combine was very fun. So let's go on and move on. Our next captain up for the draft uh, is Lord of Admirals. Just one moment. Some back real dealings. 
All right. We are going to be joined by the Lord of Admirals himself. Let me pull him in. I know special shout outs to Gotta Get Lucky for the 22 month subscriber. Do appreciate that with oh. Amazon Prime. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lucky. Lord of Admirals, what is your pick? My first pick in support. I'm going to take Princess Peach. Peach! Incredible grab. Uh, folks, Peach is uh, one of the winningest players in all GMA events. Uh, if you take a look at their uh, win rate, they've won um, uh, MVP for the role support. They've won a uh, the September uh, um, gym class feeders uh, monthly event. Just a, a winner right there. I think that was a very enlightened, intelligent pick by uh, the uh, Lord of Admirals himself. Let's go ahead and pull. Let's pull the uh, Peach up. Right now, Peach is setting at a 61 score. Average CS per minute, probably holding them back from being much uh, higher rated than they are. Tux, what are your thoughts on this pick? Just considering the fact of uh, Princess Peach's vast uh, array of supports that they can go in here, I'm talking about Lux, I'm talking about Soraka, Janna, Yumi, Lulu, just amazing synergies for their enchanter picks. And just when you think you can box, or box them in, they surprise you with a well as well as a Zyra. So definitely an uh, amalgamation of a support player for sure. Cannot wait to see how they synergize well with the ADC on that team. All right. Well, we will move on to our next captain. And we are doing some backroom dealings, folks. Sorry for the delay. All right, we're going to go ahead and bring the next captain in. The next captain to draft will be Great Beard of Odin, uh, lifting weights behind the podium. Odin, who is your pick? Yeah, with my uh, first round pick here, I'm going to select Menards in the jungle. Menards! Menards has been a stellar jungler throughout the Every event he's played in, very talented. Uh, I'm I'm so excited to see what all he does in the role. Uh, <laughs> uh, as you can see, he's here to sell. He's here to uh, slice and dice. Uh, got that oxy clean on the shirt. Menards is an incredible pick for Great Beard of Odin. Thank you so much, Odin. Uh, Tux, what's your thoughts on uh, Great Beard of Odin picking up Menards? An amazing pick for Great Beard of Odin, as he is himself a registered mid laner, I believe, in this uh, captain's draft. As I said before, going back to the whole junglers need to have a good synergy with their mid laners. Picking up Menard, from what I've seen of Great Beard of Odin's games, I definitely expect to see high kills and high uh, power dives for the mid lane to get the snow, get the ball rolling for this team. I think so as well. Guy's got an incredible pool. Ban, uh, ban the uh, cane if you got any common sense, folks. Well, we are going to move on to our next captain. The next captain will be who who is drafting is Prowler. We are waiting for confirmation on a few bits of information. Let's see how this plays out. Well, Prowler as an ADC, as we do wait for him to pick, I would assume that he might pick himself up a good top laner, trying to get himself uh, some TP uh, priority for the bot lane when it comes to getting uh, all in. But we can't just wait to see. Uh, that, that might be the smart call. Let's see if he took your advice. We're going to bring Prowler into the, into the live broadcast. Prowler, who is your pick? My first pick, I'll be selecting pointy ball in the mid lane. 
Pointy ball in the mid lane. Very good pick. I certainly love to see Pointy play, and I know that he's going to bring so much skill to that mid lane for Prowler. Prowler, thank you for joining us. We'll talk to you again here later. So let's take a look at Pointy. Uh, guy had some phenomenal play during the Captain's Draft Combine. Right now, it, it again, with these carries, just having this three vision score, uh, I think uh, he is a sleeper. Uh, a incredible call for he would have been a sleeper if the call wouldn't have been made for first round pick with a roll rate win rate of six and these uh current ranks he might not rank as well as some uh as uh, another mid laner in the pool but he's so talented and he's got such finesse on the right champions your thoughts tux well, for sure, definitely piggybacking off of what you have stated prior to the vision score. I do believe that it might just be a simple case of not needing to worry where the enemy champions are if you just kill them upon seeing them, if you know what I'm saying in that regards. I'm definitely excited to see, because I can see Pointy just being a secondary top laner by chance, maybe looking to get more roams down for bot lane in case they're in a pinch, but then still, you know, going with a secondary jungler role. But as I said before, not he's seeing a lot of top lanes picked. I'm curious to see uh, when they will actually be picked up because some of these top laners they need to get scouted. Yes, I'm. I'm curious what will happen with that role, short of uh, Ravane being the top lane captain. I'm. I'm wondering exactly when they'll start coming into play. You've asked good questions about that. Uh, and Captain Ravane will be the next captain to draft. So we will. We're, we're still in a holding pattern, waiting for approval or denial. Let's see how this plays out. Just about there. Sorry for the hold, folks. I have enough trouble walking and chewing gum. I'm operating on multiple screens right now. All right. Okay. We're going to bring Ravane in to this chat. Ravane, who's your next pick? My next pick will be support Gregosaurus Rex. Gregosaurus Rex, what an incredible pick. Greg is a champion of the LCUS tournament. Uh, he, he played uh, a very deep pool. I think that this is going to be another incredible tournament for him. Ravane, very smart choice. We'll talk to you again here later. Tux, tell me your thoughts on this, uh, on this uh, dinosaur-sized pick in Gregosaurus Rex. Uh, I can definitely tell by just looking at Gregosaurus Rex's chance pool, he's definitely more so on the high engage beefy support line versus your uh, reactionary uh, casters. Can't wait to actually see the matchups in the bot lane against Gregosaurus Rex and Princess Peach, considering the fact that those two play two different playstyles of supports. You know, one being the engage and the other one being the reactionary individual. Definitely a good pick overall, for sure. Yeah, this guy had one of the high, had the highest reviewed score available for the game he played. Setting at a sixty one right now, he is gonna bring some value to Ravane and his squad. Thank you so much, uh, Riv and Tux. God, you're so on the point with this analysis tonight. Uh, oh, now, thank, the, you. thank you. I try to do my little homework every, every now and then. Hey, good stuff. Good stuff. Well, that is going to put our next captain picking at huge. We'll hear from the Catman himself here in a moment. Um, we are waiting for approval. All right, um, just one second. All right, Huge, we're going to bring you over into the chat. Huge. Huge, who is your pick? 
my uh, second round pick, I will be taking the ADC Stalinsky Hale. Stalinsky Hale! What a value! Thank you, Huge. We'll talk to you again here later. Tux, th this pickup of Stalinsky Hale, for a player that only has experience in some of our... Uh, gym class feeder events and just played their uh, ranking game uh, I am I am very pleased to see some fresh faces being picked up so early in this tournament uh, Stalinsky Hale setting at a 62.5 uh, this player is incredibly dynamic. I've, I've got the honor of playing one or two games with him I would be very pleased if I was huge getting that pick up. What are your thoughts? No, most definitely so. It might just be a five-head idea of picking the least known of the uh, ADC picks here to keep the enemy team on their toes. After all, if you don't know what they play at max proficiency, it's going to be pretty hard to ban them out. Yeah, that that could be. You you might have hit the nail on the head there. This might be one of the only unexpected players in the entirety of the tournament. So, an element of surprise could buy you some additional uh, additional victory points there. Uh, well, incredible pick. Up next will be Lord of Admirals, and I am just so curious as to who his pick will be. We will go ahead and pull him into the chat. Lord of Admirals, what is your pick? My second round pick, pick I'm going to take the Brandanosaur. Brandanosaur! Thank you, Lord of Admirals. The Brandanosaur is one of the most tenured players in our community. This guy has incredible chops in every lane he's ever played in. And seeing him in the AD position, very exciting with the changes that have come in this preseason. Setting at a 56.5, probably due to the fact he didn't put in the work for a rank this year. I don't know what would have caused that, but this guy is a serious seriously good pickup very well done lord of admirals tux any analysis on this well from what i can see here uh definitely the brand dinosaur being an amazing pickup bar none but i do see a strong uh dependency i see here between the captains and their choices outside of Prowl, of course as an adc that they are looking to really make a strong bot lane or at least a strong bot lane with a strong bot support be seeing that mid lane is being picked up and so often supports high impact supports are being picked up as well as the very strong ADCs. So I'm quite curious as to see at least for the future games how they expect the top laners to play it out. I'm curious. Uh, this is this is just getting more tense and more exciting as we go on. Alright, for our next captain, we have Great Beard of Odin. We are finalizing his his choices, waiting for his feedback. Oh, we ride on a knife's edge right now, folks. I am excited. We're going to go ahead and bring him over. soon as I figure out how Discord works. <laughs> uh, Great Beard of Odin, who's your next pick? My next pick in the second round here, I'll be taking Zami falling in the top lane. Zami! Zami! Amazing, amazing pickup for sure. Oh yeah, and, and almost like you're, you're, you're starting to predict these picks. Uh, Tux, what do you think about Zami? Oh, for sure. This would be a phenomenal pickup for... Uh, great beer of odin's team as he has locked down an amazing jungler and now he also has an amazing top laner to boot from what i can see here at least from the analytics uh here with that being said since he has such a strong uh top of his tie side team here maybe his play is that he's going to try to focus more so on uh the heralds maybe some tp plays for dragons and then he's going to try to clean it up with uh, just hoping for late game for bot lane itself, you know, real nice uh, protective shell to let the ADC have some more breathing room to not feel they need to force a fight themselves. Oh, well, I think it's going to be exciting to watch. I know that for sure. All right, the next pick.
All right, just one second with me. We're in a holding pattern. Right, folks, I'm so sorry for the dead air. There's just so much going on in the back room. Final conversations. Uh, this would be the point. If money was on the table, we'd be uh, trying to uh, negotiate some prices. And it looks like uh, oh, we do have our next pick. Uh, we are going to move the next captain up. The next one would be Prowler. So let's pull him over. Prowler, who's your next pick? With my second pick, I will be picking Burn the Heretic in the support role. Wow! What a pickup! Burn the Heretic is fairly new with the community, but over the past uh, six months, he's participated in multiple events. Very regular figure in our community as of late. We are very thankful that he's here, and I'm excited to see him play on this team with probably the winningest, uh, well, I know for a fact, the winningest player active in our community right now, Prowler. Prowler, thank you so much. Uh, looking at uh, burn the heretic his score rather deceptive he wasn't playing support for the majority of the season but if you look at that reviewed score setting at a nine this guy is nuts and i think he's gonna do so well with a strong adc like prouder prowler what are your thoughts definitely a strong uh prospect for sure since i don't really see uh his scores on op.gg or mobile Lytics, i can't really talk about his champion pool or their champion pool for that matter However, from what you're telling me, if he was not always a support uh, player, but instead has flex support now, he might actually end up being a secondary shot caller, uh, having played the other roles and understanding the timers for backings and, you know, proper roaming for He might just be a roaming support, in all honesty. So we might be seeing Pike out of him. Perhaps he does love to roam, so it's going to be strong map pressure out of him. All right, we are preparing for our next pick are just one minute with me folks we are in a holding pattern the next pick will be Ravain so go ahead and get your thinking caps on Let us know in chat what you expect to happen. Let's see if you can get your predictions right. While we do wait for uh, Ravain to show up, supposedly it seems that Bruno Heretic is a Rakan and Leona exclusive player which i'm actually super excited to see little did anyone actually might know i myself am a love of uh, leona and nautilus personally speaking but leona for sure has a strong place in my heart i think it's gonna be great we're gonna go ahead and pull over our next captain and get him to announce ravain Ravain, who is your pick? I'm going to pick Jungle, and I'm going to pick Goonstop. Goonstop in the jungle. Incredible pick. This guy has quite the chops playing in multiple finals. And the most recent champion of our long-form event, the Community Cup. Goonstomp also shared the MP MVP position with another lane opponent of his, Chaosix. Uh, I Let's pull that up. Pull up that score. Goonstomp in the jungle. 
Goon Stomp is sitting at a 60 right now. You can see this guy is consistent across the board. Uh, I think he's going to be a phenom for Team Ravain. I am excited to see his performance in this event. Any uh, thoughts on uh, the man, the Goon Stomper? Oh, for sure. Goon Stomp is a household name now within the community. I was actually seeing in the chat how uh, they were surprised that Goon Stomp was a surprise wasn't picked earlier than this actually but i'm very sure that uh, ravine has a solid idea for how they want their comp to be uh drafted around and goonstomp might actually be one of those lich pins that ravine is very happy to pick up so congratulations to goonstomp for being on team ravine all right that does bring us up to our next captain the next captain will be huge all right, folks. These picks are going to take longer as time progresses. A lot of a lot of liberation for sure. In fact, if you could, uh, could you remind me here? Uh, Huge has so far picked a jungle. Uh, Huge is a jungler, of course, and he has picked for himself so far who a mid laner and a support. Is that correct? Uh, say it one more time. Uh, I'm walking and chewing gum. Yes, yes. So far, so far, have they? Uh, so who have they picked so far? As far as links, uh, we have two more options left. Huge uh, is a jungler himself. He's chosen his mid laner mm -hmm. and his ADC. Okay, okay. So he so needs a support in a top lane to pick. Uh, if I'm just gonna throw a cast out there and my own little probabilities, I would say he'd probably want to secure in the support i would definitely say pick up the roaming support that way um prowler is a little bit more uh susceptible to getting countered here well let's see if we're talking about you know uh, team strategy wise oh yeah i mean you've 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 got solid knowledge here i hope people are taking it up before their picks are finally announced we are going to bring huge over captain huge who are you going to add to your crew next my third round pick in the top lane, I'm going to be taking Godzilla 123. Godzilla 123, okay. Definitely, definitely a good, solid choice there. Zilla has been a phenom since joining our community during the Community Cup. Uh, he showed dominance in the top lane with Wukong, Mordekaiser, and a number of other picks. If you take a look at his, uh, his uh, evaluations, let me pull that up for you guys godzilla right now was reviewed at an eight a phenomenal score for the top laner his current rank uh, lowers his average score but i feel like this guy is going to be such a high value pick for huge and his team thank you huge and congratulations on your team to godzilla now, as we move in, uh, sorry, I, I jumped the gun there. Tux, do you have any more insight or any more thoughts on uh, this this uh, top lane pick for uh, uh, for uh, Captain Huge? I'm very curious as to see if uh, Godzilla will be continuing with the Wukong stomping. I know that they have a very good set and a Malphite, at least from the games that I've seen. But I'm curious as to if they're going to keep him on those 80 bruisers or if he might do a pivot ship into like a strong uh, tank just to be a, a very good wall for the rest of his squad, considering the other players. All right. Let's see what happens next. We are moving on and moving on pressure is building on these captains thank you so much for the saves all right okay we're still looking at the final choices And also, just to uh, make sure that I clarify on that, when I meant the roaming support, I did mean uh, for Great, Od Great Beard of Odin's team, as they have yet to choose a support or an ADC. 
Ooh, I've got goosebumps. I'm wondering what's going to happen next. It looks like we do have our next pick. The next captain up is Lord of Admirals. We're going to pull him into the live broadcast. All right. Surely they pick a mid laner this time around. Ooh, we'll see. We'll see. Admirals, your lordship. Who is the next member of your crew? Fourth pick, I'm gonna take GGO in the top lane. Gotta get Ooh, lucky. Good. Gotta get lucky with a 50.5. Incredible player with a very uh, misleading score, in my opinion. Lucky is a constant pick for me in terms of top laners. The guy eats pressure for breakfast and shits out lane kingdoms. I'm telling you, this guy is gonna be phenomenal. I am so excited to see him play. Uh, his rank, I think, is currently what's holding him back. His reviewed score, he played Urgot, and it honestly was probably one of the worst games I'd ever seen him play. Uh, I think he's going to perform well above uh, that that score uh, at a 50.5. Tux, what are your thoughts on this huge pickup? Speaking of that, uh, Crab got for sure. Uh, definitely looks to be that uh, GGL has been putting in the work uh, mastering here that I got at least for the past nine days or so I can see here that he has been putting it through the ringer so for sure he definitely is going to most likely want to show some improvement here on stage can't wait to see when the Urga gets brought out well we will see we will see our next captain up is Great Beard of Odin. Great Beard of so Odin. Far, I've been, uh, been three for three for missing on these picks. Can't wait to see what the next one will be. Well, what, what are you going to give us? What kind of what, what kind of thoughts can we be looking Fictions? for? Oh, I don't want to be wrong here again, but sure, I'll throw a little uh, shot in the dark here. Judging by the looks of it, I have to say he has to pick a support lane here if I'm going by the uh, the levels of the one, two, three here. And he oh. definitely wants to get himself like a, a weak lane ADC. Well, let's so we'll support that Rome is what he wants to prioritize. Ooh. Well, let's see if you're right this time. Let's see if you've got the nail on the head or if you're just hitting some wood. Odin, bless us with your wisdom. What is your next pick? Yeah, with my fourth round pick, I'll grab Mixed Link in the support position. Mixed Link! Wow! incredible pick mix traditionally has been a jungler with us always uh always invited to the ball but never gets the last dance this could be the event where we see him uh finally get the uh championship that he deserves if we break down his score right now mix is setting at a 52.5 he's a consistent player in terms of rank got a solid vision score and that's not even with accounting that's him playing in the jungle so having that additional resource sources to him in the support position just going to push that score even higher i think his reviewed score was very accurate um uh, after uh, reviewing the game that he played he's going to be a huge asset to this team congratulations to him and his future team uh with great beard of odin all right we are moving on to the next captain the next captain will be ravane uh, sorry not ravane prowler Sorry, oh, yep. about about yes, played up about about skip somebody in line there. All right, looking at it. And let me tell you, I am quite happy about that pickup by Great Beard of Odin there, considering the fact that this is a past jungler now on support. I will definitely be looking out to see some of those early roams, most likely in the mid lane to make a quick one v three or even a two v three happen. So you might want to look out for some of those uh, Leonas, maybe a Karma, or even an Amumu support, even, would work here. Well, we will see how it plays out for his next pick. All right. Things are, things are heating up. These teams are taking all their final shapes. Um... Just one second, folks. All right. We are going to bring him over into the chat. Captain Prowler, who is your next pick? 
With my third pick in the draft, I will pick Sladen in the jungle position. Ooh! <laughs> Sladen has been uh, joined the league the same time as his friend uh, Zilla, but Sladen has his own identity in the jungle. Sladen, uh, with his game, I had the pleasure of reviewing it, Tux, and I can tell you, I hadn't seen his uh, Nidalee before but you best believe i'm not gonna miss it it was fantastic guy played a stellar jungle let's pull up the score to show you what justifies that he got a reviewed score of nine his regular seasons uh it looks like he uh is 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 steadily improving uh his roll win rate well above average with a 47.5 i don't know if that score is exactly what i would say on the a nail with him with the game that i reviewed but no matter what incredible pickup for prowler should be a great uh great pairing there congratulations to sladen all right we are oh, going to move definitely. we are going to move on uh zammy do you have anything else to say about my man sladen All right. Next up, for the final round, we are going back to the start, and it is Captain Ravain. So just stay right with us. All right. We are going to bring him over here in a moment. Do you have any predictions of the last five? What's going to happen? Ooh. Well, the last five, I mean... It will be uh, for Ravane. They're going to have to pick themselves a mid laner here, I believe. All right, so I think at this point, it's already locked in for who will be in which sector. All right, well, let's, I'm just let's, right. let's let him announce. All right, I'm going to move you in. Ravane, who is your last pick? Uh, for my fourth and final pick, I'll be picking mid lane, and I'll be picking Alpha 935. Alpha! Incredible performer, MVP uh, play in the uh, AD position, has been a stellar uh, player in mid, in support, in AD. I haven't seen him play top, but if I had to guess, he'd probably be top of the pack there too. Tux, any feedback on, on uh, my dude Alpha? Definitely, as you were saying before, Alpha has been on a roller of uh, learning the mid lane. As far as getting his champion pick pool down here, I can't wait to actually see the possibility of maybe a Zed or maybe a high impact Akshan in his champion pool to really help with the tempo of his team. I am so excited. Uh, his reviewed score was a 9. All of his other scores, fantastic. His CS per minute was averaged from last games played in the role. Uh, so I, I feel like uh, he's just going to bring such a presence to this lane. Uh, congratulations on your placement. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the tournament alpha. So next up, we do have Huge. All right, we are going to move him in to announce. Huge! What's happening? So for my final pick, I will be picking the great support, CB Hickey. CB Hickey. Hickey is a long history playing in this tournament with us. He goes between the mid and the support role. Uh, no matter what role he plays, this guy has one of the best Nautiluses on the server. I'm so excited to see Hickey perform. I know he's going to uh, do an incredible job. Let me get the right captain picture up there. Uh, Tux, what are your thoughts? Well, 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 a Nautilus pick here, you say. Hmm, I do believe and I do declare that that will stir up a lot of possibilities for the bot lane duo combination there. As Nautilus never really falls off, his ultimate is way too strong, in my honest opinion. I think it's going to be one heck of a show. I had the honor of playing with Hickey when he was uh, on uh, Blitzkrieg. We didn't have the most success, but we had fun, and he's vocal. He communicates. It is an incredible pickup for Huge. Very lucky guy there. All right. 
Uh, right now, we are going to move on to the next pick. The next captain up is Lord of Admirals. All right. Looking at it. Okay. We are going to bring Admirals over to announce. Just one moment with me. Sorry for the inconvenience. Admirals, what is your last pick? From last pick mid, I will take the wonderful mid laner, Chaosix X. Chaosix! This guy has been a staple of the GMA Gaming Community Cup. Shared the MVP uh, position of the mid lane with Goonstomp during the Community Cup. He has been a dominating force and, and arguably the greatest question mark in terms of reviewing out of anyone in the tournament. And after I reveal this photo to you, you're going to see this guy lives in war paint, constantly ready for apocalypse level fighting. Uh, let's take a look at his score. Thank you so much, Admirals. All right, let me pull him up real quick. All right, Chaosix. Chaosix uh, sets at a 61.5. It was very difficult to get full tallies on his uh, scores, but we were able to do it after a deep dive. Right now, he is setting at a perfect game reviewed. Uh, right now, setting at a 10. 61.5 average. This guy is going to be a menace in the mid. Tux, what are your thoughts? Most definitely. So if, if just only based off of the photo he decided to take as his uh, representation for himself, he is going to be a menace. I highly suggest that any mid laner who decides to go up against him wards both sides of the bush, buys three pink wards, and then also just crosses their fingers and hopes. Well, I know it's going to be a match made in potential hell or heaven, depending on how you view it and depending on who's on the receiving end. Next up, we do have the Great Beard of Odin finalizing his team next. Let's take a look. All right. We are going to bring him over to announce. Odin. Yes, so for my final pick in the draft, I will be taking the Eternal Saurus. Eternal Saurus. Oh, do you have something else? No, I was going to say for ADC. Ah, oh, yes. Thank you for the clarification there. Yeah, I would. I would hate to have had. I would have loved to have had him casting. Thank you for clarifying. Uh, now we uh, we are very excited that Eternal Saurus is back with us at this event. Uh, Eternal Saurus was a top laner, and uh, in my opinion, the anime protagonist to the Community Cup and the LCUS final split. Eternal, setting at a 32.5, is probably the oddest evaluated player in the tournament after Chaosix. Uh, Eternal put the work in and is picking up this new role. I've had the pleasure of playing with him his first game back in the role and a recent game back in the role, and the guy's picking it up like second nature. He's going to do incredibly well for Odin. I'm excited to see it happen. Uh, do you have any thoughts? Oh, Tux. most definitely so. Uh, for Eternal Source, I definitely understand that with this comp, nothing against him, of course, but he does have to realize that the, that the uh, pressure will be on. I'm quite certain that Great Beard of Odin and his team composition will make it where it should be easy sailing for Eternal when it comes to being the ADC on the show. But do keep in mind that they are definitely looking for him to be the late game carry when they can't stop the enemy team from snowballing them in. Eternal will show up and just melt the entire team in the back line. I think it's going to be fantastic. Um, hold on, hold on, guys. Nobody riot. He he uploaded it separately, and I'm trying to find it. Oh, God, it wasn't in the upload folder. Oh, no. Just stay with me. Nobody burn the world down. We're going to show you that beautiful face, that handsome man. Just stay with me. Nobody burn out yet. No riots, please. No, no riots, no riots, no riots. We'll get it to you, I promise. 
Oh no. All right, hold on, hold on. I will deliver. Three riders. Picks and it exists. At this point, we might be able to make our own startup company of League of Legends. Oh, <laughs> small <laughs> indie company. That's what we are. Small indie small company. Indie company. Of honest <sighs> roots. Where did I? Oh gosh, where is that picture? Oh, I can't I can't find where I put it, and I want to use the right one. Okay, I will give you a special uh, edited version of the photo in general chat in uh, GMA to uh, to. Uh, to, to compensate for this failure, folks. I am so sorry. Uh, I, I I just can't find where that picture is. Uh, but we're going to move on to the last pick of the tournament. Uh, and probably the most important one. We are going to double check. Just one second. Just stay with me. All right. We are going to... We are going to bring Ravain... Oh, sorry. I did it again. We're going to bring Prowler in <laughs> to announce... Prowler, who will be the final component of your team? My final pick will be Ukulele J in the top lane. Ukulele J. Ukulele J was on the caster desk, and we we he's uh, taking his first real steps into the competitive scene with us. J has been a stellar player. I've had the honor of playing with him a lot. His unique top pool, which I don't want to spoil, uh, is very supportive uh, and and very uh, surprising the amount of damage this guy ends up pushing out with the champions that he plays. Uh, right now, Jay is evaluated at a 45.5. Uh, very solid numbers across the board. He's going to do a lot of damage in the lane, and I'm excited to see him perform. Any input from you, uh, Tux, on this final pick? With this final pick in mind, especially looking at their champion pool, trying not to be a uh, spoiler Andy myself, I definitely can say that with this kind of pick, it more so focuses on high knowledge of mechanics over the uh, champion scaling, carrying them through for the top lane. So I can't wait to see how he's able to evade early lane, early game ganks as well as being able to uh, manage his own wave. Well, I think it's going to be an exciting tournament to watch. We do have these teams completed now. Just one second, and I will read them all to you. Just one second. All right. Uh, for the first team, we have Ravain in the top lane, the Pistol Crab. Uh, we have uh, Gregosaurus Rex, we have Goon Stomp, and we have Alpha. For the second team, we have Huge, Gankbot Police, Stalinsky Hale, Zilla, and CB Hickey. For the third team, we have Lord of Admirals, Peach, Brandana, Gotta Get Lucky, and Chaosix. For the fourth team, we have Greatbeard of Odin, Menards, Zami, Mixlink, and Eternal. And for the fifth team, we have Prowler, Pointy, Burn the Heretic, Sladen, and Ukulele J. These five teams are going to duke it out December 5th in a double elimination uh, tournament. This tournament will begin at 5.30 Central Time on the 5th. Prior to that event, we do have two podcasts. They're going to be both Wednesdays between now and then. We're going to discuss all five teams during the podcast, so you will not want to miss this insight going into this tournament. For the first round of our tournament, let me go ahead and throw it up here. You guys can see it. 
for the first round of our tournament. We are going to have Prowler playing Lord of Admirals at 5.30 Central Standard Time. Uh, the winner of that will play Ravain. Then the other matches will be Huge versus Greatbeard of Odin. From there, the bracket will develop, leading into a single, uh, a single champion to stand on his deck, proud and captain, uh, reigning supreme over the seas of GMA Gaming. I hope that you'll join us. It's going to be an incredible ride. Uh, Tux, do you have any final words, any final thoughts before we uh, depart? I. For one cannot wait to see how these teams decide to duke it out on Summoner's Rift. I definitely suspect to see a lot of plays being made around the seven minute mark, definitely for the first dragon. And I also can't wait to see how those initial dragon souls, be it the toxic dragon soul or even the Hextech one, to be able to benefit the team and turn the tide. I actually myself played a little bit of the Legends in the past couple days, just to see what these new dragons are talking about here. And I have to say, the Toxic Soul for the Dragon is very underrated. Can't wait to see it, though. Yeah, it's going to be one heck of a time. Thank you to each of our captains that participated. Thank you to all the support staff that were able to make this this uh, first ever draft of ours a success. Thank you to all the players that signed up. And thank you to the viewers out there. We received a number of subscriptions, lots of shout-outs. Thank you all so much for your support. We look forward to uh, seeing this chaos and anarchy reign across this uh, event. It's going to be so fun. Uh, I have been your digital lord and savior, Sigtal Lord, joined by the incredibly talented Tuxedo Mask. I hope you have a good night, and we'll see you on the Rift. Have a great night. Good night, everybody. <laughs>